Ayo, it's G-Mo motherfucking Ski. Sid Jones, Gorilla Voltage approved. I'm here with my nigga, Sid Jones. Watch that Sid Jones show. Sid Jones. Sid Jones. You motherfuckers better subscribe. Check out Sid Jones' channel. But if you got it fucked up, let me remind you. Fuck what you think. 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 Fuck what you heard. And fuck what you think. Sid Jones, baby. Yeah, Sid Jones, motherfucking YouTube channel. It's what you hearing, motherfucker. G Mo Ski, M Gang, Phil, bitch. Sid Jones, in the place to be. Large. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Situation Room. I am your host, Sid Jones, and to those who have not tuned into this channel before, I welcome you to your first ever Situation Room. Please make sure you're checking out the previous episodes. They might be of interest to you. Now, before we get before we get started, sorry, long day today. My throat's a little hoarse. I'm excited for the shit that's coming out, and I apologize that we had no Rep That Wicked this week, and I apologize that we didn't do the On the Road with Sid Jones. It was one thing after another. It was Memorial Day weekend. Shit was popping off. It was it was just fucking insane. So I apologize, but we're making it up to you. So I got in touch with the homie Red. We got an interview coming up, a sit-down interview this week. When that will be, I am not sure yet. But know this, the t-shirts will be here. We're doing the giveaway for the t-shirts. So remember, hashtag Rapper Red, your favorite Rapper Red song. So, hashtag Rapper Red, the song that you like best of his, all the way from Memories to his new album, and so on and so forth. So make sure you're keeping in tune to this channel this week, because we got some more shit coming, guys. And as you can see, we have some advertisements, we have some big news. Suicidal Memories, featuring Young Wicked and Ryan Palma, the homie irates track. Make sure you're checking this shit out when it comes out. I'm told June, I'm told July... I'm told it was supposed to come out a few months ago. Irate's been busting his ass on this. So there's been a bit of a delay, and I guarantee you it's going to be worth it. How do I know that? Because I got to listen to the rough cut when I was out there in California. So shouts out to the homie Irate. And he did, in fact, make sure that he paid for this advertisement, which will be up for the duration of this channel. Now, I told you about the homie B.I. We're talking about Believing in God Eyewear. There's a new lineup coming up this summer, guys, and it's out. Ball caps, my cup of tea, my favorite kind of thing. These are fucking, I believe it's uh, 5750 and it's B-I-G ball caps, as you can see down here at the bottom of your screen on this side. So they come in green, they come in red. I'm pretty sure we're getting black and white. I'm almost certain. I can't wait. I got to fucking, I got to up my ball cap collection. We got some. To see what I got in store for you coming up next week. So, with all this out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the album that everybody is still talking about. Now, this took me by surprise. So, I gave it a listen. And I I tried. I, I don't like trap music at all. If anybody did trap music, I wouldn't promote it. But, there's a verse... It's ICP's verse, the Insane Clown Posse, on the Ouija track. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this. So I was I was listening to it, and I'm thinking to myself, maybe it's because it's out of their element. Maybe it's because it's a different track. Maybe they're trying to blend with Ouija's rather than try and throw in their own wicked shit. The, the Insane Clown Posse that we knew and loved prior to the second deck. So I was sitting there, and I'm, and I'm listening to it. You guys gotta check it out for yourselves. Uh... Yeah, so I'm not digging it, which brings the question. Now, we're going to get out of the breaking news, and we're going to talk about this, the speculation desk, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this this right here brings me to the future of something we are not aware of yet. When's it coming out, first off? Second, the other part that's really bugging me, Frightful Fred Fury over here. Furious Fred Fury, whatever his name is. Uh, please tell me that the Insane Clown Posse is not going to make this album sound like fucking Ouija's thing that they did on his track. Now, much love to Ouija as a person, 
got to respect the guy, but fuck, I can't do trap music. So this, this, this hurts me in a way where it's like, I don't know if I dig this. I don't know if I want to listen to this. It doesn't give me hope. This looks like fucking the Jekyll brothers and, and the riddle box and all the greatness that the insane clown posse had given us. But is this going to be a reflection of what we're going to see on this upcoming album? Or was this a blend that they did with Ouija? This is where my concern is. This is, this is my reasoning for coming out here. And this is why I'm a little delayed. Cause I had to think for myself, like, they did something different with Death Pop. They did something different with Bang Pow Boom. Now, somebody did bring it to my attention that the, 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 the pin little thingies, the, the, the hat pins, that they didn't release Death Pop and Bang Pow Boom. That they, they had Frightless Fred Fury and or Frightful Fred Fury, Fearless Fred Fury, whatever, fucking Fred. And then you've got, like, I think it was like Riddle Box, Malinka, whatever. But they didn't have those ones, but they had this guy over here with the albums that we grew up to love. So with all that in mind, I asked the question, is this going to be another Mighty Death Pop, Bang Pow Boom? Is this going to be trap music? Is this what we're looking at? Now, with all of this going in your mind, and before you start fucking throwing out some bullshit, let's think about it like this. Let's say that the Insane Clown Posse take me by surprise. I'll admit, fuck it. It's a dope-ass album. I will do that. No problems, no qualms. It's all good. My other thing that I want to bring you guys' attention is that this Ouija album is basically them breaking into the mainstream. They're using Ouija's style with the wicked shit in the, in the lyrics but it's still trap music. And like Don Chaos had pointed out, my friends who don't fuck with Psy music, don't fuck with shit, would dig this album. Is this an idea that Ouija came up with? Is this one of the reasons why the Insane Clown Posse signed Ouija? Is this going to be any glimpse in what we're going to see with FFF? I don't know. That's why this is called the speculation desk, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. But it makes me a little more hesitant. Now, before I was like, it's another Joker's card. I gotta get amped up. But I also forget that the missing link was a Joker's card because... Eh? Like I said, Bang Pow Boom was good. Mighty Death Pop had a track on it. And Link Lost and Found did nothing for me. But now we've got this thing, this album, this Ouija that just came out. I'm nervous, guys. If you listen to the ICP's verse, I'm just saying. It, it, it's it's going to be a hard pill for me to swallow. I, much respect and love. Please let this be a good album. So that's my speculation, ladies and gentlemen. That That's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this, wanted to put this out there, and so on and so forth, where it's basically, let's hope for the best and plan for the worst, and maybe we'll get the wicked shit one day. Like, this looks dope, but if it's six foot, seven foot that we have seen, if it's that, that hippity-hoppity fucking, there you go, root beer. Rock and rye. I'm out. I tap out. I walk away. Much love to all y'all that buy the album. However, I will be checking it out. And I'm just really hesitant in doing so. That's it. That's all I really got to say on, on, on this subject. And this has been the Speculation Desk. So, now that we know that this is what I'm feeling, I want to know what you guys think, of course, because... Like I said, meh, brings me to tonight's last word, and that's this. Tonight's last word, very simple, very, it's aces. Let's get down to it. It doesn't matter if the album is good, in your opinion, or not. There there was people that said the album was a 5 out of 10, according to Ouija. 
in that in that album that came out on Psychopathic that really shifted gears. Is this good or is it bad? What is this going to lead to the future of this whole WWE shit that people are talking about between Psy and MNE they released Year of the Sword now ICP's gotta fucking drop F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F and make it dope. Well my 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 qualm is this you can't compare Year of the Sword to FFF. Year of the Sword was a fucking a badass album with everybody on it. FFFFFFFFFFFFFF is going to be an ICP's Joker's card album. And dare I say, I've got that little bit of hope. That's that's where I stand on that. What needs to happen is Twisted needs to come up with an album this year. And then ICP needs to come up with FFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFF
fucking original and something dope. Now, I, I've got my vote. I've got my vote, and I know that this is going to be the album that takes off. I know it in my bones, and I know that everyone's going to sit down and go, this is the fucking, this is the shit, this is the one. So with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, please, please continue doing what you're doing for me. Continue supporting this channel. Continue fighting the good fight for the music that you love and for the artists that you represent. And always remember about the music. And of course, if you're not down with that, Fuck what you think. And I'll see you guys this week with my homie Red. I'll see you guys on Rep That Wicked. It's going to be the fucking shit this week, guys. I'm telling you guys, 2018 is the motherfucking year. And I thank you all for joining me today.